Hey, this is Cardal, and a little bit of an unreal, I don't know, tip, hint, thing, whatever. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, as we've been working on Pocket Town, we've had to deal with uh, APIs. I'm responsible for basically the back end code server side and uh, storing data from Unreal Engine. Using Unreal Engine stuff is cool. But when you run your own stuff, you can have full control over it. Um, also has more stress, but whatever. Uh, we like stress. Uh, let's, uh, let's go over how you deal with custom objects. And for example, a character setting. So character customization is one of the things that I'm dealing with right now. I need to store that on the server in the database so that when you log in or switch maps or do whatever, I can load that from the database at whenever I want uh, and just update your character, blah, 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 blah. Um, in order to get that out, you have to be able to send the data itself to an API, in this case, uh, that I wrote. However, uh, VA REST, which is awesome, very it's free and it lets you do REST queries, very, very cool, uh, easily and simple. Um, it does not let you do custom objects unless they've changed something since I started doing this a couple years ago. Uh, so I found another plugin called dbjson, um, which is uh, basically all it does is serialize and deserialize uh, structures. So we're going to take this basic example that I made here, uh, which is just basically creating a string field, calling a URL, and success or failure if it's HTTP status code 200. That's all this is. We're going to not just do a status with a string of OK. We're going to do a custom object. And I have one called test structure. It has field 1 and 2, which is a Boolean and a string. So it's a custom object. VA REST does not like this. You can actually, um, uh, we'll just kind of move this over. Uh, actually, let's make this a little bigger. Give us some more room here. Uh, and we're going to dump this in here. And let's go ahead and let's make our test structure. It's true and it's like good times. Sure. There we go. So here's our, our, our actual structure that has the data we want to send. Now we need to use dbjson to um, serialize this object. So if I type in db, dbjson, you can see you have a deserialize and a serialize. So parse a structure to a JSON string, JSON string into a structure. So you can use those to go back and forth. So we're going to choose serialize and we'll just hook up our execute things here. And then we take our structure, plug it into this side. And then JSON string, when it's done, goes into our string value for our string field. And we'll call this like client data. So now, uh, for example, in Node.js, uh, this client underscore data would be, uh, because our call URL is a post in the content type of JSON, what we can do is we can, uh, the request.body dot client underscore data will have this string value in it, and we can parse it on our side on the other end, which will give us a JSON object that represents this custom structure. Uh, and then we can do whatever we want with it on, on the API side. So that's kind of how this works. Um, uh, it's really, really simple, but it's uh, using two plugins in order to do the same thing. I wish that they would just let you serialize a structure, serialize something into a structure. Um, it'd be really nice to use. But anyways, I mean, that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, if you have any other questions, leave a comment below and uh, we'll see if we can help you out. But uh, that's pretty straightforward on how that works uh, between uh, dbjson and VA REST. So I hope that helps you. And uh, yeah, good luck.